Pull in line. That was Misty Day getting fidgety in the gate. Ready. They're off, and Charming Lady was slow to go. The favorite Ghost Zapper Philly drops back to last. Sharp start for Misty Day. Misty Day's come out running for Eddie Martin Jr. to just lead. Legal Limit and True Fend is near the speed. Luminaire in the red silks. Charming Day looks to gain ground toward the inside for James Graham. Charming Day held up in a pocket right there between horses. Ready for my close-up. Close-knit field here. Ready for my close-up is held up behind Phillies. Maddox is posted wide and Malibu Marley trails. The maiden Phillies sprint the opening quarter in 22.60 seconds. They roll to three for longs from home, aiming for a 17 to one leader. Misty Day, legal limit right there is True Friend. Dow strides up in the three path with a bold stroke. True Friend and Ricardo Santana Jr. to take on Misty Day and legal limit right there at the quarter pole. Ready for my close-up straightens away in the four path. Luminaire on the far outside. Charming Day now looking for an avenue and here she comes. Charming Day is let loose. Malibu Marley and Maddox the one outpaced. Charming Day Comes to take on now. True friend as they race into this final furlong. Then Misty Day, legal limit. Ready for my close-up and Luminaire with James Graham. Charming Lady asserts close to home. At three to five, Charming Lady was the bell of the ball. Charming Lady won by three and a half. True friend was second, third photo. Luminaire dived at the wire with Misty Day. Next across was ready for my close-up with legal limit, Malibu Marley and Maddox. In 110.81, four eight and then a photo. Poor Charming Lady at three to five first has beaten eight. True Friend at nine to one second and a photo two. Misty Day, 17 to one, held show. Sixth Luminaire, five to one fourth. A double on the card for James Graham here for Tom Amos. And BCWT Limited, Barbara Weber. She broke last at Charming Lady, gets the laurels at three to five. <laughs> 